Right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Our tale of the day for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong. Presenting the challenger, Ibo Wei. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting. Out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Nibago Mina. For the championship, we begin your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag his fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Slips the punch nicely there. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you can one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time his opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Massive elbow from the clinch. And there comes the separation now. There. That is. Oh man, this dude is good. Oh, straight right. Nice punch lands. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the middle. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got in on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Sound strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Making all these shots count. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Oh, 
Well, we're both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. And they set it. Right hand punch to the clinch. So 35 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Under two minutes to go now in our opening round. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, big roundhouse attack, but unable to land. Nurmago Medov gets touched by that kick to the body. Devastating body kick land. Engages in a single collar tie here. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Try to establish that jab. Hands up. Less than a minute to go in the round. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Big punch from the clinch. Just missed on the front kick there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He is pulling a fast freak hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Final seconds here of round one. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out. But it does excite me for the next round. This next round, you really want to focus on ground control. You have to set up your takedown. I want you to maintain All right, DC, second round is getting Three, underway. Five. Round Three. one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You can have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw. All collar tie. Big cut land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, well, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. All right, single collar tie now. Good punch, land. Nice body kick right on the elbow. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Just missing on the uppercut there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? A nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. 
All right, he's hanging out inside the close guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Marco Medoff has got full mount now. I mean, how many can he take? All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Good work from the top here by Nermago Medov. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hit the skate. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. It's ground and pound strike there now. Oh, looks like he's transitioned to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. He's a tech armbar now. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. Gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So what a moment for the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world getting it done tonight and with style points as he submits his opponent to win the UFC title. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at three minutes, 53 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission and still... Still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that monster. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion. He